I guess we're just going to start then. Uh, okay, so yeah, I am interested in um, these two as well. The Before Noon um, Solo and Only and Rito Temple Missing Ariadne. What is Ariadne? Uh, because this is when we choose to not cooperate with Rin, and this is when we go with um, uh, Saber, because I know when we didn't go with Saber, that's when we did an interlude. The interlude felt like a big deal. Maybe it wasn't, and there's just no interludes here. Or we end up getting separated, and they, I, mm, and the Rin one might just be that she ends up showing up at my place anyways, because when we agreed to cooperate with Rin, that didn't necessarily mean we were living together, and then she randomly shows up at my house. So she might still end up showing up at my house randomly anyways, and that might be how the you know, paths converge. Um, but for now, I want to continue going on the saber path that I was going on, which this is the 2020 save point, so it would be here. Assault. The two shadows intersect at great speeds. They clash overhead and separate and then kick off the building and clash again. It's like watching uh, the fighter aircraft's dogfight. Dogfighter dogfights. Watashi wa? Nah, just kidding. This is Shiro. Oi wa! Wait here and stand by. I have to follow Saber. If memory serves, I believe I waited here and then because I didn't want to distract her trying to follow her. And when I waited here, there was a little bit of an interlude as I saw her fight. If memory serves, um, and since waiting here didn't kill me, um, maybe following Saber will kill me. I don't know if I can know. Also, following Saber might give me Saber points. If I, whatever. I have to follow Saber. Uh, oh, fuck. Did I follow Saber last time? It's giving me the choice to skip the scene, so I've probably already seen it, but let's cancel. Dash, dash, dash. I can't just watch. Perhaps because it's a battle with no foothold, Saber's unable to overwhelm Ryder like before. The two's conflict moves slowly up towards the rooftops. I had a strategic reason for picking whatever I picked at the time, I'm sure. Hmm... Follow Saber. Probably because if I was left behind, I, I would have been worried that Shinji would have just gotten me at my blind spot, so I might as well stay near Saber. Maybe that is why I picked this that back then. If Ryder came from the rooftop, chances are Shinji is there. There are two conditions of fighting Ryder. Beating Ryder before she has a chance to use her noble phantasm, or get Shinji before that. Since Saber is fighting Ryder, there's only one... Th okay. Because they gave me the chance to re-see it, I guess that means I did choose this way. Now that I think about it, I guess it would make sense. And we see them fight more. Uh, let's try the other one. Because I'm trying, you know, I'm slightly searching for that missing Taiga Dojo. So let's wait here and stand by. I guess I did choose to follow Saber. Because I thought it was a trap and Shinji might still try to snipe me somehow from here. Hmm, maybe that's why I chose it. Let's wait here and stand by. Dash, dash, dash. It's sad, but I guess all I can do is stay here. I can't ride up the side of the building. Even if I do go after her, I wouldn't be able to back her up in any way. Saber. A human cannot participate in a battle between servants. Interesting, so I chose the other one. I guess because I thought this was some kind of trap? That's probably what it was. I figured this was a trap, and if I stood here, I might just, he might just have a further trap for me, so I might as well just move in some way away from this spot. Or maybe by now I'd already realized that Shiro and, and Saber are stronger when they're together. They hadn't quite had their dragon sex yet, so I'm not sure if that's true. I think until the Caliburn, you know, shown in power up, I don't think I was fully on board with that, but... There's nothing I can do, I'm gonna trust Saber's word and wait here. 60 seconds passed. After a short blank period, I see intersecting sparks way above me. <laughs> rooftop, they made it up to the rooftop? I strain my eyes to follow Saber's figure. The silver and black light do not stop even once and disappear a few hundred meters higher. Dash, 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 dash. What should I do? Should I go into the building and run up the rooftop? Unlike the side of the building, if it's the rooftop on firm ground, I should be able to... Mm -mm. Is it too late? Are you ambushed? Because of your poor choice earlier on? Nani des? A bright light is emitted from the rooftop. Oh shoot, are they having the fireworks awesome battle off screen? Not just once. It repeats in rapid succession. Hello, Tom's Tom. Could that be? Ryder's Noble Phantasm? If so, Saber has no chance of winning. Not letting Ryder use your Noble Phantasm. Wasn't that the main requirement for Saber to win? 
It's no time for indecision. Grating my teeth at, at my cowardice, I run to the building. Do you like get killed by Ily on the way? Like maybe she's already in the building and if I had ran earlier, she wouldn't have killed me on the way. Instead, she kills Shinji on the way down? I don't know if she's ready to quite kill me yet, but I mean, if it was anyone but Ily, I might see that happening. I run up the stairs. It was easy getting the building, but it's not easy to get to the rooftop. The elevator doesn't go beyond the 40th floor, so I have to use the stairs to go up farther. I can't be wasting time. In the darkness of the interactive... Uh, the inactive lights? Interactive lights! Yay! And you up the stairs leading to the rooftop. They're interactive because if we shoot at them, they'll go out! It's already been five minutes since I snuck in. A normal battle should be decided by now. Uh-oh! Is Saber already dead? The ground shakes. The 50-story building shakes as if bombed. Eh? That couldn't be Ryder's Noble Phantasm! Unless it was Saber's. Did she do it without us seeing? One more floor to the rooftop. Shaking off an ominous, uh... Presentiment? Presentiment? You mean predicament? I run up the darkened stairs. Presentiment? I don't know if I've ever seen... Is that a real word? Presentiment? Hold on, we gotta Google a word. Presentiment. Presentiment? An intuitive feeling about the future, especially one of foreboding. It's a real word. I've never heard of that before. Presentiment. Also, thank you, Mano Cool, for following, and Deep Fried V for following. I forgot to mention that. They followed me, uh, you know, while I was not streaming since the last time I streamed. Both of them, so double follows. Thank you, guys. Or girls, or whatever. Thank, thank you, people. Thank, people. I run up the darkened stairs. Is it already over? Dash, 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 dash. The instant I open the door, I feel hot air on my face. A burning heat hot enough to burn my face rushes in. What the hell? Happened here? The concrete ground is burned up here and there. Uh-oh. A dry air as if there's nothing living. Well, that sounds bad. I want there to be living things. If there's if everything's dead, then then we skip straight to the part where everything's corpses and we have PTSD. Save us. In the middle, Saber's collapse as if empty of energy. Saber! Shikarishiro! Saber! Are you alright, Saber? Is this not gonna be a bad end? I guess there's only one more bad end, so it's technically supposed to be the next choice that determines if it's a bad end? Hmm. I run to Saber and raise her up. She's still breathing. Saber's unconscious and breathing heavily as if wounded really badly. Saber! And we missed all the cool stuff because we chose the other option. What a lamer. Saber remains and Ryder is nowhere to be seen. Did she actually kill her off screen with Excalibur? What? Can we miss that? So leaving the process aside, the result is clear. If Ryder was still here, she would not have let Saber go as weak as she is. So the survivor, the victorious one is Saber. Did that seriously happen off screen if I had chosen this choice? What? No way. That's such a big moment of the Excalibur! Ryder was defeated and Saber must have lost consciousness in exchange for that. No way. This is just allowed? That's such a big moment. It's the first time a, a servant is knocked out. It's the first time that you're supposed to find out that, that she's King Arthur. And we're just allowed to miss it? No way! Hold on, I'll take you right home and have Tosaka look at you. Hold Saber in my arms. I'm amazed at her lightness. Saber breathing painfully has no weight like she's just an illusion. What? What about Shinji? What the fuck? What am I watching? What? Hold, hold, what? What? Sort of promise victory. Did we kill the horsey? Did we kill the pretty lady? 
Shinji's technically not out of the war if he can stop his book from... We never followed Shinji. We didn't get to see him dying. We did, we did, we did, what the farts? Hold on. We got to make a save point here, but not like... I don't want to overwrite that save point. Um... Ryder can die off screen? I mean, she technically died off screen either, either way. We didn't technically see it, but we saw the Excalibur burst, we just assume. Is Shinji supposed to be? Is Shinji dead? What? Excuse me? I never saw- I didn't get the bad end, so the bad end must be related to if you're actually there for the fight. So technically no bad end. But I wasn't there to see her do Excalibur, so that's gotta lose me saber points, I'm sure. But I'm very curious, so I wanna- hmm. I don't know, do I double back? Or do I- do I could- okay, so I have a couple options here. Option number one is double back right now, because I think this is gonna lose me saber points, and check later um, this will be one of the things, uh, that I look into later, like these two are as well. Because I want to look into 4th day, 6th day, and then this one. Um, maybe I just double back now, or do I keep going? I think I want to keep going, that feels like an obvious saber point. But anytime I see one of these things, and I'm like, that's totally a saber point. Uh, and then I'm like, well that means I got the saber point, and yet I still didn't. Is that like the only freaking saber point I got or some shit? How many saber points do you need? Um, that's crazy. I'm going to follow up on that later. I think, I think we definitely want to choose the other choice. Definitely. What? Two shadows intersect at great speeds. The clash of your baba, your baba, your baba. Uh, I have to follow Saber. Make sure I'm right about this. Let's skip ahead a little bit. I don't want to skip the whole scene, but interlude. Yeah, we completely skip this interlude by we completely skip this interlude by doing that. We don't even see the fight at all. We don't see the result. That's ridiculous. Like, I don't mind if that actually makes a major ch change in the narrative, but if the narrative is basically the same and we just have the option to not see the first servant getting defeated, not see Shinji dying, assuming he still dies, not see... That's crazy, they just give you the option to just not see that stuff. Assuming that it changes nothing in the grand scheme of things. Since Saber is fighting Ryder, there's only one thing I can do. Right, oh, that's, sorry, that's the, uh, <laughs> that's the, that's, that's the history. Group is already far away and the clash should occur at higher speed. Blah, blah, blah. Tuning for the future football. In the process. In the instant it takes to move the, to the rooftop, they clash numerous times. And when watching them from the ground, they would think it looks like pinball. Well, sure, I was watching in the other timeline. By which I mean he didn't see anything, because he couldn't keep up? Yeah, it cannot be perceived, perceived with the naked eye, so there you go. Did I have some way of seeing Assassin die on screen that I skipped too? Is that what happened? Because I somehow, apparently you can skip Ryder getting killed? Can you, can you skip Assassin getting killed and that's what happened to me? And there was some way to see it happening? I don't fucking know now. It just seems like weird narrative direction. Um, okay. Skipping. Rules do not apply. Trace a purple attack saber. Such a big fight. We skipped a choice as well by doing that. A choice that probably can kill us, I would assume. Path that headed directly toward the rooftop changes direction. Flowing attacks go away. Shakes right off with one kick. Rider expected even that. Rider doesn't let saber get away and she could boy Dabu. She flicks Ryder away with her sword and jumps into the open area. There's a limit to how much she can block, Ryder's attacks in the air. The skills were not even matched before the babu ba 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 
No decisive blows in this battle. Oh, shoot. They're all paper cuts. Keeping Saber in check. Knight, this kind of a fight is an insult. <gasps> I can see why not choosing this and not seeing this is one way that, you know, you wouldn't get a Saber point. Because um, if you don't see this, you can't get the connection of seeing her do Excalibur for the first time, being there for her when she first does her victory this would put more in her mindset that yes i am after the grail shiro is not necessarily relevant but i chose to see it and still she marked me a knight runs on the ground not the type to stick to walls like the woman of a dog <laughs> Ideal position must await at that moment. Why is Noble Phantasm as Saber believes? There's no way to defend against it. There's no turning back now. Not the rider, as Master B. Because it cannot be helped. Saber herself is amazed, but she has thought at least once that she does not want to push her honest master. But she'll kill him later. The two gain altitude. Interlude out. <laughs> I run up the stairs while cursing. Even though I was able to enter the building, the altar doesn't go to Rabba. I have to run up the remaining ten floors of my own feet. I run up the stairs full speed. I don't know how long it's been since Saber left me. I don't think it's been ten minutes yet, but that's still too long. Nobody knows what, what can end a battle. Saber isn't perfect. It's possible that she could make a big mistake and be cornered in big trouble. So before that can happen, if I can find Shinji and make him use up his command spell, there shouldn't be a need for us to fight against Ryder. <laughs> Running around the building, up the stairs, around the other breath. I don't slow down, rather speed up. I have a bad feeling. I don't know why I felt it, my heart's been pain. It's not a pain in my body, but something that tells me there's no danger. Saber cannot win. On the rooftop is something that must be must not be confronted. Now she wins anyways. Trying to shake off the bad feeling, continue the stairs full speed. The wind is strong. As soon as I open the doors for me in the other towns, excuse me, the concrete ground is burned up here and there. In the center, in the middle of the burned up rooftop, is her figure down her knees. Saber has nothing to spare, breathing with her shoulders. The instant I try to run to her, I notice something strange floating up in the sky. No! The overwhelming amount of magical energy forced me to recognize it. <gasps> I stare up at the sky. The sound of wings flapping. There's something whiter than the hazy white moon. The Pegasus, which we don't see in the other pathway at all. It is a legendary divine mystery spoken of only in myths. Uh, no, I don't want to skip it because I think there's a choice that will lead me into a uh, tiger dojo. And the instant Saber reaches the rooftop, she confronts the true form of her opponent. Supporting her falling body with her sword, Saber looks up. A white light approaches instantly. Deploying the wind wrapped around her sword, she creates an invisible wall. Her body is blown away. That which should nullify any possible impact does not even slow the charge of the Pegasus. Gagarg! Blown away, she rolls on the ground. There's no time to lie down. Pegasus turns to the air and can use grab pods. Phew! She cannot block that blow. The only possible measure is to jump and evade it. But even if she doesn't avoid the drag, the trail is enough to heal by the baby bear. She'll eventually take a direct blow if she continues like this. Flash, flash, whoop, flash. Whoop, 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 dash. Double trash. The white light comes swooping down like trash. The Pegasus glides down from high above. Mo Saber down without touching the rooftop and returns to the sky. Pursuit is impossible. That's right. Didn't they remove that move in uh, Generation 8? What? Mm. There's no wall to run up. Even if there were one, no one would be able to catch that Pegasus. Ha 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 ha. In that inferior position, Saber awaits a chance to counter. Even if it is a Pegasus, if it's alive, it can be killed. The only chance of victory Saber has is for the rider to make a mistake with the Pegasus remains. 
I I'm surprised that we can just completely miss this scene, especially if you still die. A voice from above. Saber looks up, holding her sword ready. You have no chance. Disappear with grace. Ryder sounds calm. A little joy can be heard in that voice. It's pretty. A fantastic race. As it sounds, there are beings that exist only in fantasy. Demi-humans, like spirits and giants. And vampires? Demonic beasts like demons and dragons. <laughs> Dungeons and dragons? As their very existence is a divine mystery, it is said that they themselves surpass magic. It is the law that a divine mystery will be omitted by a greater divine mystery. Eliminated, that is, as magic stored its power and knowledge. The fantastic race stores their power in their long lifespan. Even if one master's magic is a human, that is only about the last 500 years. For those who have lived since ancient times, a 500 year old divine mystery is not even worthy of competition. It was long ago when both humans and fantasy lived in the same world. Longer than the In the present day, the only fantasy world. That is why she doesn't have a fantasy the royal world. The only one that Something of the time of the gods. Must have been profound times indeed. Blah, 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 blah. Profound deeds indeed. <laughs> hmm. S strays from this world. The longer live the fantastic race. Only fantastic race are a, f are a mere few hundred years old. Oh, what fantastic races are those? Like dolphins? Let me guess, they're a fantastic race, aren't they? Eh. <laughs> Hmm. Because you're also one of those races by being a vampire? I know you're an evil spirit despite having a good alignment! <laughs> We don't need to touch your boy. Elia will touch him for me. Well, uh, he won't. She won't touch him. She'll just kill him. They won't get Giggity. No, don't put that in my head. Like this rested swings in the air. A giant arrow will strike this season opening. Dash, dash. Saber ponders, glaring at it. Pegasus itself is not a strong for that race. Nor Pegasus will only glow to the class of a demonic. Grow to the class of a demonic beast or the famous race. If that is the case, fantastic races and where to find them is an uh, opponent defeatable just with her invisible air. But that thing is different. Now the Pegasus existed from the time of gods is going to the level of the Fantastic Beasts. That Pegasus is nearing the level of the Dragon Race, considered to be the strongest of the Fantastic Races. Oh no! Its defense is already at the level of the Dragon Race. Because that Pegasus is divine protection, exceeding even Saber, who has the strongest magic resistance. Well, shoot. What was she supposed to be if she wasn't divine yet? Um. Itself is not a strong Fantastic. Really? Oh, it's just an old one? Only go to the class of Demonic Beast. Ooh. Okay. It's charge emitting vast amounts of magical entries like a Jabai Baba. There is no possible way to dodge or defend against such a thing. That's not the surprising fact. That Pegasus is just surprised me variety of summon and it does not have a true name. <gasps> variety of the Pegasus is just like a dagger she uses, except it's big and white and purdy. That black cavalry. You mean uh, white cavalry. Dash is dash. There was nothing to beat in this situation. Rather, she thinks of that a chance to come and ride. Says, "Why would you want offense? No matter what riders no offense may be, there's no problem. If you're strong enough to destroy the building. There's no problem if it's only strong enough. Say really needs to go into defense, endure the attack, and slash away. Unless it's so strong, it'll go through the earth itself. That's right. As long as your master does not appear here, and he does. No. Whoa! I looked up at the sky. The sound of wings flapping. There's something wider than the heads of It is a legendary divine mystery spoken by a man. Pegasus. The dangerous version of phantasm is that what causes scorching the rooftop and dreads in the looking out. Rider is riding on a flying horse that befits her class name. Bleh! Keep mind off Rider, I heard a sound. I can't tell Rider's on the Pegasus. I can only tell that the white beast is constructed from enough magical energy to have come from a few hundred magic. It's only natural for the That thing is charged to surround by you. If that thing charges me down, there's no way to go down. I'm racing against time here. I have to be changing a limit rider. 
Okay, there should be a choice around here, right? I must be hiding somewhere. Shinji! Only his voice echoes. Calling my impatient mind to listen to his laughter. Damn, the wind's strong. I can't tell what I'm doing. Blah, blah. Too bad. You have to kill when you can. Shinji. How dare you! Don't rush. Let him talk. I should be able to determine his location if he keeps talking. That thing from yesterday, so I'll let you die a painless death? Mm. I mean, you totally want me to die a painless death. You're not letting me die a painless death. Really, it would be like, because of that thing from yesterday, I'm going to give you an extra painful death. But, you know. This is bad. I have the Pegasus standing by the wall. The swirl magical energy rotates without limit. If that thing is going to be coming high speed, the rooftop will be blown away, leaving no remains. The way will have the idiots of school following you inside if you say you're lonely. Knowing Sakura, what, by killing her? Bitch. A white shooting star falls from above. In that instant, a storm appears before me. Isn't there a choice here? I believe there should be. This is a long scene that we just completely skipped. Wow. <gasps> For the first time, she forgot about her enemy during a battle. Angry her imagine doing such a dangerous place. Angry herself for not realizing that this was likely. But all those ideas are driven to the back of her mind. What else could there be? In this dangerous situation, his expression is only worried about Saber. Shiro. Come to think of it, he has always been like this. Even though he knew she was an excellent knight, he did not treat her as knight even once. Soft laughter, Ryder places her hands on the Pegasus' neck and makes it beat its wings even faster. No danger of anyone watching here. Except, you know, Ilya's right close by, apparently. Missing until now forms the Ryder's hands it is a mere small rain of shining gold. No, well, phantasm! Too kind, not fit. Ooh. Pegasus lowers its neck. Pegasus rages not from its own intentions, but rises. Your master will not be able to escape. That's absolutely true. There's no offense. We will blow away the rooftop. If she hurries, she'll be able to get uh, Shiro and get away from the rooftop. The rise attacks. Well, right, this was the one with the weird interludes, where it doesn't fully make sense when it's interluding and not. That I do remember. I remember nitpicking that for sure. Master is not strong enough to survive the Gumpa Save or protect your master. Just stay in with Gumpa. It's just shesh. Since then, I think I've fully never really had an issue determining when it was interluding or not. Although, granted, how many interludes have you actually had since then? I don't remember. But, um, yeah. This one, this one specifically bugged me. I'm like, when is this an interlude? When is it not? Kazeo. That makes her hesitation go away. She forgets about everything that must happen in the future. She's only her master's sword now. This is one, ba da Annoying voice shouts out as does the Pegasus flies up even higher. Just pierced from view in an instant. The Pegasus that flew up there has already lost its form. After rising above a da ba da, returning to the earth. Comet sweeps down. Even after it becomes an arrow light, right still pushes the Pegasus. There is only one target. She will destroy her enemy along with the Jumbo Daba. Name, the name is Cast. If an old phantasm bears a miracle that is released by casting a true name, <laughs> Bellerophone! Okay. Uh, it's truly a divine lightning. A flashing thunderbolt. Watching her eyes on the wall. You said no one will say. The wind is unraveled. And that's why, of course, I'm gonna use mine too. Uh. No need to worry about destroying the earth, because I'm aiming upwards. The seal is broken, releasing many layers of wind. Her sword makes its appearance. Wasn't there a choice here? A storm is rising before my eyes. A white light comes. Is it after the fact? No, it's it's in this scene. It's sort of promised victory. Oh, this is when we chase after him. I know by the description. Shinji's not technically out of the war. Right, right, right. Okay. This is when we choose if we want to chase after him or not. Of course, of course, of course. 
Even though she's a target, Saber does not move. Saber! Raging was coming from her. No, not from Sarah, from the sword she's holding. <coughs> eh! I <coughs> dealt my own eyes. Oh, got something caught in my throat. <coughs> mm, excuse me. Raging winds. Many souls develop as a bubba da. The wind melts into air. I know bubba da. Now say it. Say it beautifully. Exocataba. Bellafron grows large enough to engulf the whole rooftop and speeds up, destroying not only us but the building itself. Seeing it again, I do like this as the um as a nice as a fine way to beat Ryder if it's the first you know servant you're being. Again, you know if we actually get to see it. The range of the hero cavalry lay up the rooftop. Time stops. Facing unavoidable destruction, my mind freezes, but not because of the range of the hero gamma. The converging lights. Its purity is not even comparable to the light of Rise of Zepeda. In her hands is an assembly of the planet's light, the strongest holy sword. Exit. It actually does make this look rather cool for a visual novel, not gonna lie. It's a lot of pretty lights, and sometimes the pretty lights are hard to distinguish the implications of until you know what the implications are, but... Rewatch value? Literally a line of light. It's a blade of light that slices everything it touches. It slices Ryder with one blow, soars up into the night sky, cuts through the clouds, and disappears. I think. If that thing were used in the ground, a great disorder and land would re remain and never disappear. No, they'd not allow us to see it. A golden sword. Excalibur. Said to have existed in England. The strongest noble phantasm. A saber symbol of heroism. Now Shinji runs away and we get a choice. That's what it was. I would have known if I had checked the description earlier, but I was being a derp. The rooftop is silent. The wind is gone, nothing makes a sound. I also kind of just wanted to re-see the scene again to remind myself of the of the whole, like, first first climax, essentially, of the game. And they skip it. You can skip it. Dash, dash. I can't approach Saber and I just stand there. I don't know if I'm still confused or if my heart is still captivated by the sword. My mind is acting strange. Only, but, uh, why does she have that sword? That golden sword is the property of the well-known King of the Knights. I try to think of how she ended up with that sword, and I notice that I'm trying to avoid the simplest of the answers. There's no need for complicated guesses. That sword has always been hers. That's why her true name is easy to figure out. I don't know what kind of mistake was made, but there's only one person she can be if she has a holy sword. Except, you know, there's not only one person you can be if you have Gabe Olg, apparently, because you can also be, uh, you know, um, uh, Gilly, as well as uh, uh, Kiki Lane. Saber does not move from that stance, they complete her for a blow. I should run up to her, my body won't move. Up to now, I only stood in words that Saber was heroic spirit. Perhaps I realized that she was a hero of the past, and I hesitated to go near her. <laughs> And there's Shinji's great, great, great scream. I love it. Hear a scream. Something is burning in the background. I look in the direction. There, I see a book burning dashes. Ah, oh, there goes Shinji's book. Okay, his book did burn up, so we didn't even really have a chance anymore to be in the war. Ilya still killed him anyway, though. Oh, heartless. But it's okay. I already saved it with my penis. Shinji is there watching the burning book. Shinji. He must have realized that Ryder's defeat and he's at a disadvantage. Shinji turns back to me as, as to flee and runs towards the exit. Dash, dash, dash. Shinji jumps to the door leading to the Mother, stairs. Shinji. I can't let him go now. But the instant I start to follow him, out of the corner of my eye, Saber collapses. Dash, dash. My mind freezes. Shinji is running away and Saber is on the ground. I, here it is. Follow Shinji run to Saber. I 100% remember. Let's go ahead and save. Save over this one. Um... Sort of promised victory. Um, the book is gone, though. I don't know why I wrote this down here like this. Uh, let's just uh, remove this.
Let's go to Saber, get them points. Um, so yeah, we're gonna run to Saber, obviously. Last time I followed Shinji and I got to see, and I thought it was the smart choice to not let Shinji get away, you know, to, um, to, you know, stop him from fucking things up if we let him get away. But obviously running to Saber will give Saber points, obviously. Um, and if we run to Saber, we probably miss the whole Elia scene, um, and the whole killing Shinji. I don't mind the idea that you can, you know, go to Saber and get points or follow Shinji. Because following Shinji, even if you do that with the mindset of, I gotta stop Shinji for the Grail War purposes, means you're putting the Grail War above Saber. Which goes against, you know, the ultimate thing that comes at the end when you deny the Grail for your waifu. So it makes sense why you'd want to choose Saber. You, you will miss out on seeing how Shinji dies, but I don't necessarily think that's a problem per se. I do think missing this entire thing is a problem if it still happens and you just don't see it. Um, but I think missing Shinji isn't necessarily a problem. I think it could be a nice Easter egg to potentially find out, but you don't necessarily have to know. But anyways, we're going to run to Saber, of course. We need the Saber points. Yeah, I'll still call it, kill him off screen, I'm sure. I can't leave Saber alone. Rider's gone. The book that holds Shinji's command spell is burned. Shinji doesn't have a servant anymore, and he's lost his command spells as well. I mean, it doesn't mean he could still do some fucked up things. I think that was my logic, even though um, he lost his book. Uh, I think my logic was just that, you know, who knows what crazy things he could do, what he might do to Sakura if he gets a chance, even if he doesn't have command spells. But I can call the match settled. So the priority right now is Saber. Where I wonder where the Tiger Doja comes from, because I believe there's one missing before we fight... Ilya and Berserker that I didn't get. I expected it to be during this scene, but I didn't find one. Hmm. Saber! I run to her. The golden sword isn't in her hands anymore. It has disappeared and only Saber herself remains, but... Okay. Golden sword isn't in her hands anymore. Disappeared and only Saber herself remains, but... Hmm. I just gotta remember that this is actually new again, because I've just been so, you know, without thinking, just kind of uh, machine gunning through the text. Saber doesn't look well at all. She has sweat in her brow, and her breathing is weak and irregular as if she has a fever. Right, because we haven't had the dragon sex yet, so that's really gonna fuck her up. No way, hey, Saber, what's wrong? I call it to her timidly, but she doesn't answer. She's unconscious. Saber. I touch her forehead. Ow. I automatically pull my hand back. It's unusually hot. If this is a fever, she's over 40 degrees. Saber! She got it all! <laughs> Shikari Shiro, he said Shiro when he was saying Shikari Sh Anyways, are you alright? <clears throat> Even when I call out to her, her only reply is heavy breathing. <laughs> dash, 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 dash. I don't know what the hell's going on. I don't know, but we can't just stay here like this. I'm gonna take you home. If you want to object to it later. I pick Saber up. I feel like this basically happened anyway, even if you don't see the Shinji scene. Uh, even if you do see the Shinji scene, but uh, I guess we got to her faster this way, so it makes sense that we get an extra saber point. She's light. She was light before, but she's lighter now. No, more than that, she's... Alive is good. Saber is still saber. I'm angry at myself for hesitating. Damn it. So what if she's a hero? No matter who Saber is, she's here right now and she's warm. <laughs> she's also hot. Not stupid of me to think there's a wall between us in spite of that. <laughs> now that he's lifted the wall, now he's allowed to really like her. Yeah. I'm going home right away. Stay still until then, Saber. The way I worded that, it's like, I'm gonna go home right away. Uh, I'll get you later. <laughs> oh, no. I run, still holding Saber in my arms. There's no feeling of victory. All I feel is Saber in my arms, breathing painfully.
Tenth day bedtime reparation for victory. Uh, no, don't skip this scene. Okay, so what would be the next choice? It would be theoretically, it shouldn't be until um this one, the uh the the one which turns me into familiar, which should be the next interesting. So maybe there is some more branching than I expected. Um because I don't know where the other Taiga Dojo would have been. Feels like we passed it by. Um, unless it involves not pursuing, not seeing what happened. Maybe Shinji lives in that timeline. Um, and then maybe something else. And then maybe there's a, another way to get a Taiga Dojo beyond that. Or something along those lines. Because I feel like... Because we definitely got this one. It would be the next one chronologically. But, interesting. So this is going to be the next choice. And then this one after that. And then... And then we're going to get to this one. Intermission Archer and Berserker. That's a choice. And this one in the forest. And then this one. This one. And then the, where's, when does the 12th day end? The 12th day went on for a little while, actually. Right, that's where it ends. Okay, so the final 12th day choice is this one. I choose you, Bulbosaur. Ha ha. Okay. Um, in that case... That does make me curious. I'm going to make this a save, actually. It's not a choice, but I'm going to make it a save because that's such a big split. That's such a big split. Um, I'll save over this one because I know I can still go back to that one. Um, I can also go back to this one, which is also 2019. Um, so I, I don't want to overwrite too many of these so I can keep the 2019 versions to an extent. Um, oh, this one's going to be a little more confusing because these ones are 2020 now. Anyways, let's see over this one. Hmm. Yep. Shinji, nope. Shinji still dead, I think. Okay. okay, we can skip a lot of this because there's nothing that happens of importance until we get kidnapped, I believe. So what happened? Ryder was defeated, Shinji retired, losing command spell, but Saber used Noel Phantasm. Mm. Phantasm. <laughs> what do you mean, no condition? <laughs> Saber disappeared? Saber <laughs> Right, this is when they, I think she first tells him about dragon sex as a possibility. Or rather, she mentions that something is needed, but I don't know if she brings up dragon sex because she thinks it's so terrible for Amagus. Surtees and will phantasm disappear if she uses it again. Stand now. There are only two ways to heal a servant. So there's only one other possibility. If you don't want Saber to disappear, you'll have to you offer her your magical energy. Of course, we wouldn't make it if you taught you how to die. If you want to save Saber, all you can do is make her attack people and absorb their souls. Oh, no! Except, no, there's a much better way. We just do dragon sex. The fact that you think this is your default option, that this is the only way, you liar pants. You knew the other way existed. Nah. She knew of the other way and never mentioned it. Mm. I know that the dragon sex was going to hurt me a lot, but, you know. Still, she acted like it's literally the only way. There's zero other options, which is a lie. Oh, uh, the king's memories fall through. Uh, <laughs> uh, the king's memories fall through. Yeah, I can skip that. Uh, charming white eye. Oh, wait, don't skip this. The park is empty as usual. Interesting. When is this? Um, uh, the king's memories. Charming white eye Ilya. Oh, okay. So it actually is a fairly quick turnaround. It doesn't take that long for Ilya to kidnap us. 
Helps that it's colder than usual. Maybe there's no one around. It looks like I'm the only one at this time. <sighs> so the choice, I know exactly when the choice comes. Because it was the hot one where I turned into a familiar because I was like, yes. That means Saber attack people. No, because she didn't tell you all the options. No way I can do that. Making Saber do such a thing would be telling her to die. First of all, Saber would surely refuse, but demo saw. When I hang my head, I see my left hand. I have two command spells left. If I use one, I force it to follow my command. Yeah, this isn't important. Let's just get to the part where Ilya shows up. Hello, Ilya chan. I'm suddenly called. I love that. Oh, something about Yapati Soto. The way the way it's said, I love it. Anyways. It's dangerous. Start to say that I'm amazed at my stupidity. Ilya is a master too. Shouldn't be worrying about anything with the baton. Sitting down on the bench, dismiss Ilya. There are things I need to talk to her about, but I have my hands full of saber right now. What's going on? Ilya doesn't say anything, he just stares at me as if I'm a stranger. Ilya. Suddenly, the girl in front of me says this coldly as if she's someone else. Fighter mode, Ilya is back. Mm. So we find out about it anyways. That's why you let Rider's Master escape. But you killed Rider's Master. Are you going to mention that to me? Or or did you not because we didn't follow? Do what the loser is. Kill them. I move my legs. I know it's bad to say sitting down, but I put my power and stand up. Body does not move. He's entranced by the idea. idea. How do you know about that? Um, yeah, he never, what, he never found Shinji's body in this version? Because I don't believe he saw that Ilya did it even when we did follow him. That was an interlude. But he did, I believe, find, roughly find his body. He just didn't find Ilya there. Tried my arms and legs, but they won't move at all. Mother the red eyes, the beautiful red eyes. Oh, that face. Love her expressions. <laughs> uh, whether she's a good guy or a bad guy, I like Ilya. Uh. Of course, in this timeline, we didn't go to see her on day eight, so she's got more reason to just, you know, want to take me out. <clears throat> I wonder if we get the choice in this version. Maybe that choice is only open to us if we did um, see her on day eight. I wonder. This is the same Ilya as at night when she was in Mishbada. <laughs> But I can't even twitch my fingers. Twitch. Every nerve in my body is wrapped by Ilya's stare. Mm. That's right. Ilya raises her hand, her white slender fingers touch my chest. <laughs> Bloop. My vision fades. Sensation in my limbs is already gone, now my vision is gone as well. How long has it been since I fell into this darkness? Well, I wonder whether or not I'm dead, my consciousness fades away. And then... My body is burning. Even though my consciousness is being alive, my burning body is appealing to alive. I see, I guess I'm alive then. Even if that's the case, it's only for a moment. Ilya said it too. She can kill me whenever. Wink! She's right. I can't fight at all without Saber. Holy Grail Wars is a battle between servants. 
Can I possibly match one of those servants? That fact's been proven many times already. Is a merciless beating, a saber semi battling a servant to survive. I couldn't even do that. I was kind of my butt -ba. I survived because, yeah, we know. Facts so vexing. It's not the disaster occurring. But you did stop it. You saved a bunch of people and you don't care. All you do is focus on the things you don't save rather than the things you did save. Myers' childhood always had to win or it's meaningless. Always has to win? The hero's never allowed to lose? That's not how a real hero works. Full is demanding I must win. If I don't have any means of winning, but over now, how would I be able to fight? I don't have the skills to fight alongside Saber. That is not true, but I guess you don't realize it yet. Oh yes, Archer. No, you cannot post spoilers, Tom's Tom. Back off! Suddenly. I remember the back of the man who said those words. You didn't realize how awesome I secretly am, though. I know. I realize that moment every now. He doesn't need to tell me something I already know. If I'm gonna win, I'll go ahead. But what could I win with? I can't imagine myself being a servant. I can't even handle to see myself in an image created by seeing myself be a fun fun. There's no I could be able to match a servant in a first class illusion with such a third rate image. Oh no. Will I be able to beat? Uh, what a great question. Searching for the answer even now. Yay, flashbacks. Oh, the basic form. Uh huh. Right, this is him thinking about how to make things. And this is sort of, you know, prelude to him making Caliber and all that. Which I did think was a nice through line. Um, even though the Caliburn killing four lives was dumb, him making the Caliburn was a nice through line. When I come to him in a ridiculous place. Okay, I'm still here. But do I still get the choice? It's just a place I've never seen before. It has a Baba Deep with you. It used to mentions like Shinji's. It's embarrassing. My mind almost falls unconscious. Body is strangely heavy. My body. Duh. I'm trying to remember my hazy mind. Oh, yeah, I was bound by Ilya and lost consciousness. No one's in the room. My body feels heavy. It seems I could at least raise my arm. Uh oh. Dave's mind instantly awakes. Realizing the danger I'm in, I study my situation first. I'm not in the worst condition, but it makes no difference to the fact that I cannot move. My body is still numb and I can't even get up with my hands. There's no clock in the room. The window is behind me. I turn around. But the sun is already set. I'm at Ilya in the morning. That means at least half a day. Doing this now. I don't know where I am, but I have to go home with Saber. Daba. Saber is weakening. Can't trouble her by letting her know I've been kidnapped. I pull! And I push! Door opens. Release my power at the same moment. Okay. So she's still acting goody goody. Acting totally different from before. Her acting with Cole's eyes are gone. I mean, no matter what in this pathway, at this point, she's seen Berserker nearly kill me, so she's still gonna have the, you know, the little gushy-gushy towards me to an extent. Um, even if we don't, you know, go all of her flags and see her on day eight and all that. Um, I think the gushy-gushy is sort of, a, you know, the flag that can't really be unflagged. Uh, I wonder if we did choose the other one. It probably would have been a bad end in that situation. Hmm. She looks at me tilting her head. It looks like she's worried about me. Dissatisfied? Captain Jamie's in the dungeon. I wonder what the dungeon looks like. Duh. I love being special. And yeah, it's good if Cheryl loves being special because he's going to be special some more in the future. I don't think she's thankful or not. Uh. But anyway, I'm starting to understand the situation. Now. 
Okay, so sharply killing my emotions. As long as I don't know the full details of the situation, I should listen for now. That's true. But, so why didn't you do that? A lot of the <laughs> uh, In all situations, he does know the full details and pretends to not know them, really. So I'm surprised he even wants to know the full details if he thinks there might they might be bad. I guess in this case he doesn't think they might be bad because he actually trusts Ilya to an extent. Hmm. Nobody will come save you, but you're wrong. Why did you do it? If you wanted to kill me, you could have done so at the park. You're mine. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Looks like we're probably still going to get the choice. <laughs> this is still the, 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 the best OTP. <clears throat> still best waifu. I automatically lean back. Ilya, put your face close to my eyes, if not caring about my feelings. Ilya, shut up. I know it's indirect, but my heart's beating fast from the weight of Ilya on my legs. Even though she's not heavy, she feels so alive. <laughs> well, I'm special because my body is made of metal, or...? I still think I made the right best first choice. <laughs> Ilya's words are so pure that I won't be able to take it back if I not. And if I do betray her, all her purity would probably turn into hatred. Ilya's so close to me, my confused mind freezes. This isn't just uh, that she likes me. Ilya's questions ask me if I want to live or die. I'll use the secret dragon sex Rin hasn't told me about yet. Ilya snuggles up to me. Giggity. I don't know what will happen if I disobey her. Uh. Ilya puts her finger up to my mouth. Uh. Ooh, and now the... the and now the more, you know, the evil smirk comes out. Love it. <clears throat> I don't get it. Are you sure? Maybe I just secretly get it and I'm choosing to avoid the truth. That seems to be what Shiro's uh, MO is. Mm -hmm. Ten years. So you've known about me for the ten years? I wonder if she has known about me for all ten. I, I don't know if she's known about me for all ten. Um, I mean, she's probably been, you know, plotting and it's probably been more like, you know, seven or eight that she's fully known, maybe nine. I feel like I don't think she would have instantly known. Maybe she would have instantly known. But um, even if she did instantly know, I don't know that she would have been plotting anything specifically right from the word go. But yeah, I mean. Blech. Voice sounds like a girl wants a toy. Seeing a cruelty that's in chill up my spine. Eyes are full of hope. <laughs> Allowing no refusal. Uh, I'll have to nod for now. I can't do that. Yeah. Alright. Overwrite this one, I suppose. Sh sure. Okay, um, yeah, so we still obviously have to say I can't do that, otherwise we die. Even though that's the best ending, that's still the best ending, definitely better than when Saber kills us. So I'll just say I can't do that. Is there a, a, another choice in refusal and escape? Uh, let's see here, yeah, in refusal and escape, we get a choice. I don't believe it affects anything major, but it looks like we do get a choice. I have to fight as a master. Uh, as long as I have Saber. Uh, I hear gasp. Uh, her eyes open for insight for his mortis. Ilya backs away. The girl looks down at me, not getting upset. It is voice filled with murderous intent. Feel ominous tone. 
すぐに用を済ませてくるから。待て、何をするつもりだ、イリア。Uh oh, she's doing something. 何言って、セイバーとリンを殺しに行くの。二人を殺してくれば。ジョークさん、you only kill Archer。バカなことを言うな。セイバーも倒すかも。そうなの。けど、二人は殺すわ。<笑>それが終わったら。With me or against me. Rude. You know, we can just, you know, be people that exist and not be with each other against each other. And yet, despite that, Shiro is like, no, Saber, you gotta be with me or against me. Kinda. Although that's more, he only gives the ultimatum there because Saber's wish is dumb. To be fair, shouldn't have to be an ultimatum. It just kinda is by default because if Saber doesn't choose that, she's gonna end up choosing Shiro anyways. But you know. She's serious. She's gonna kill Saber and Toast after. <laughs> Oh, she looks at me in amazement. <laughs> you're still a child, you can't do such things. Even though she's already done it once. And you're all children, though, in this war, basically. I mean, I guess Kira isn't, but that makes me wonder the master who was, um, who he kills to take Lancer. Was that a child, too? Because, dark. Yep. He says it with a cheerful face. <laughs> what? At that moment, to my surprise, I clearly understand what she's talking about. Ilya said she was in that building last night. So, wasn't the master fleeing in front of her the perfect prey? Oh no! You killed Shinji the jerk! Because you didn't! Doesn't sound guilty at all. Must have been nothing at all. Makes me realize, no, I should have known for the last one minute that girls no sense of good and evil. They're both in one. She is both devil and angel. Yeah, right. You can be able to escape from this cage. All right, now around here the choice comes. Ellie leaves the room. What's just is true? Doesn't understand threats or haggling. Everything. I remember this scene fairly well because I. Um, I rather like this uh, interaction and this whole sequence up to, uh, all the way up to when, you know, kills him and loses four lives at once. That was bad, but everything else is up to it. I rather like this whole, uh, interaction. I can't stay here forever. So it's, it's pretty, it's pretty well in my mind. Before Ilya attacks her, I shake my body and try to loosen the ropes. She really must think I can't escape as there's no one in the room. I can't get out of these ropes by myself. There's no one keeping watch, but... <laughs> Still not working well enough. Even though I can move, my limbs are heavy as steel, and just moving them will run out of breath. Certainly, I can't move. Even if I can get the ropes off, I won't be able to escape. My body won't move. Helios eyes, staring contest. The mystic eyes. So superior magic is able to intervene magically with the targets by looking. And did you learn that from Kiryu Tsuru? I didn't think he'd teach you, you know, semantics like that. Genjutsu. Binding. Eyes perceive visual information. Therefore, a magus usually casts some protection over their eyes. Who knows? Just mystic eyes that are acquired using the magic. But I hear the monsters born with such eyes don't even need to look at the eyes of their target. Those people exhibit their abilities by looking. So, fortunately, it doesn't seem like these mystic eyes are special kind. Oh, does that mean we're gonna run into the special guy at some point? I don't know. Um, you know, sometimes I would be in an era of be like, that means we'll see them at some point, but it could just be world building. This game does that a lot. They have a lot of world building of things that don't necessarily come up, and I think that's fine because it means they can easily blend in their foreshadowing knot, and I also love me some good world building, so. And there's a way to dispel myself. I can't move my body because you only have something like So if I remove that magical energy, I'll be able to do that. It's simple. If mud is collected, wash it out. Yeah. Closing my eyes, concentrate on the inside of my body. I don't have the skills to detect or remove it, but such skills are unnecessary. Ilya's magical, staying in my body. All I have to do is channel strong magic. Mm. I don't think you're as strong as Ilya, but okay. I apologize to my body at some consultation. All I have to do now is my daily routine. Drive in nerve. Right, right, right. That's right. There's no need to make a new one now. I can just push a switch inside of me. Oh, yeah, that's one thing she taught me. I have to make a magical circuit, so I'm just gonna switch in there as a magical circuit. Cast spells suggest myself. Spells do not do anything to the world. It is only something that one casts on oneself as one intervening with the oneself world. 
Wor words are the best way to make your body transform an order that only works on the self to create a divine mystery of very simple magic called spell. Alright, yep, 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 yep. And now he does the thing. Assistance from the jewel. The jewel? Bejeweled? Push the switch. I can just let the magic energy circulate. I say push the switch. I still haven't figured out where this switch thing is. He goes wild. Very smart cookie for figuring this out. It shows that Shiro actually can be smart. He just chooses to be dumb when the truth would be mean. Blood spills out of my mouth. Something must have been cut or something must have ripped inside of me. I channeled enough magic energy to wash out the blood. Don't feel any pain. <laughs> yeah, self healing. It's an abnormality I don't understand, but I'm just happy to have it at times like this. It's my greatest and only strength for any wounds to heal if they're not fatal. Uh, although, it heals some would be fatal wounds too, let's be honest. You should be careful of is relying on it. Uh, no, because usually relying on it is how you win fights, so it's not even true. I mean, yeah, but no. Because the cause is unknown, if I get myself injured relying on the healing, the healing might go away. Uh, so long as I think your wife wooing for Saber, it seems to work. Or husband doing, uh, that is to say, because you are the husband. Or are you? Not if you're Shiro Best Girl. Mushroom lines are big, my call. Loosen the rope, or are bruised. I don't think uh, it was Ilya that tied me up, but it wasn't tied too tightly. First of all, Ilya wouldn't be able to carry me. There's someone that Ilya wasn't uh, that my own right. It's good that I can move freely now, but it seems the movement was too violent. I don't have any wounds, but magical energy is still raging inside of me. Just moving causes my body to be pummeled from the inside. Won't be able to get back for Ilya. I slap my cheeks. As I start to lean on the wall and into the door, this is when I heard some stuff. I hear a sound on the other side of the wall. Footsteps. A few of them too. These people approaching while talking stop in front of the door. Oh no! There's no time to hide. I should. Right, okay. Save over. Um, well, this isn't quite a fight choice, but sure. Let's see here. Um, also, what's the next choice after this? Um, it doesn't happen until after the dragon sex. It doesn't happen until this. Our intermission archer and berserker. Uh, oh, this is when I'm choosing... This is when I chose to see what was up with Rin, yeah. Because I wanted to talk to her about the, her jewels and stuff. And and that was when I could have talked to Saber instead. Right, that definitely is part of maybe why I didn't get the ultimate Saber out. Um, so that one's an obvious one when I get to that. So after this, I can keep skipping for a while. Uh, let's see here. I have to fight. Hmm. Oh, shoot. 1,759 drop frames? I never got really a warning about that from my, um, I have a thing up that's supposed to give warnings. Uh, so I don't know when those dropped. Apparently we dropped like crazy, but we're okay now. So whatever, I guess. It's just recap, I guess. Uh, let's see. If I have to fight, I'll make the first move when the door opens. I'm in no condition to fight. I'll sit in the chair and pretend I'm tied up. How about that bed? I believe I, I hid like under the bed or I wanted to hide under the bed and he just ended up hitting on the bed. Uh, I have to fight. I'll make the first move. That sounds like the Shiro thing to do. Um, sit in the chair and pretend I'm tied up. Nah, we gotta make the first move. That's the funniest, because I know who's coming in, too. The one who moves first will win, so I have to fight. It's too late to hide now, and I don't have time to waste. We might end up knocking into, into Saber and having one of those, oh, I'm awkwardly fell on top of you situations. That might give me a Saber point. I don't have time to waste. I have to get out of here as quickly as possible and go home to Saber. The door opens. Standing with my back to the wall by the door, I ready myself for the patrol ending the room. Yeah. The patrol just opens the door and does not enter the room. Oh no! Hold on. You can see the chair from the entrance. Since I'm not tied to the chair anymore, won't they figure out the situation from that? So you have to attack, duh! This is bad. If they call for people right now, it'll get hard to escape. Uh-oh. I'll just have to go up myself and beat the patrol. I jump from the wall to the door, and the patrol must have known I was hiding as they enter the room as soon as I jump out. <laughs> Damn! I can't stop now. Whoever it is, I'll just beat them and leave the room. <laughs> Do not move, I'll not take your life of you. Shiro, <laughs> yes. 
It is the me, Shiro. <laughs> we did bump into each other. That makes it more good for the saber points, theoretically, than if it was Rin or Archer or something who confronted me. Dash, dash, dash. My body stops dead. <laughs> I like that. I will not take your life if you... <laughs> How uh, honorable and nice of Saber. <clears throat> what was her exact line? Uh, <laughs> uh, if you huh. Oh, she said huh. Uh, maybe if you give me Shiro. My body stops dead. My mind goes blank. The person that I must go and save is standing right in front of me. <laughs> uh, she's very much saving you in this situation, though, uh, Shiro. Saber, why are you here? Saber, Saber,どうしてなんてそんなことは言うまでもないでしょう。サーバントがマスターを守るのに理由はいりません。シロが捕らわれたのなら助けに来るのは当然ではないですか? I should not even need to tell you why. There is no need for a reason for a servant to protect her master. It's only natural to come and save you if you're held captive. だから I'm asking you how you knew I was captured. That's not more important. If she knew I was captured, coming here is definitely the smart choice. Zilia's hideout is no place for you. It's much worse for you, though, Shiro. Oh, okay. That's the end of it. All right. Um, Einsburn Castle, a distant back. Uh, yeah, we can skip this because there's a lot we can essentially skip. We can skip even past the, the dragon sex. Um, the next choice doesn't happen until post-dragon sex, so. Uh, escape from Einsburn Castle, elopement. Um, I expected there to be a choice here, actually, when we were fleeing to see if Ely would catch us, but there wasn't. So, yeah, skip. Uh, dragon's core, hold on, this might be dragon sex. Once we pass between the exceptionally tall trees, unexpected sight appears before me. Uh-huh. Um. Yeah, because all the way through here, we did that. No choice, no choice. And then we're about to get the dragon sex. And then post-dragon sex is when we get the choice. Yes. Oh, Rowan. Should be able to hide here for a while. Which found us supposed to hide on way here. The entire ground floor is taken over by trees. The only usable rooms are on the second floor. This is the best of those. Miraculously, the windows are still intact. I don't know how, but I can see the night sky from here. It's pretty clean here. Maybe someone was staying here until recently. Really, what kind of nerves does she have? Stepping over the rubble to Osaka's dusting off the bed of the window. Right there. I lay Saber down on the old bed. Oh. That's a nice Saber shot that I never saved. Probably because it's it's an injured shot, so it's not a good one to save to this bank bank. How you feeling, Saber? Can you still move okay? Since Shiro carried me, uh, I can sustain my body. Oh. That's such a nice one image, though, that I never saved to the bank. <laughs> no, it's fine. There's plenty that I don't... I don't need this one. Because she's, like, wounded and stuff. So that's, that's like, you know, sexist or something. I don't know. So, one problem it's been an hour. We might be able to hide here until the morning if they have trouble finding us. We might be able to. Oh. Her mumbling reminds me. We were able to make it to this room, but what happened to Berserker and Archer? Mine castle, keep Berserker there. It's been over an hour, so Archer should already have retreated from the castle. He's gone. Tosaka. He's gone and done bad. What happened to him, Tosaka? Very surprising, because he was the second one to go down. And the Berserker goes down, he's the third to go down. And then, yeah, from there, um, order of operations would be that Assassin goes down off screen, so he's the fourth. Oh, we're unstable? We're unstable. Uh, nope, we're back to being stable. Why are we dropping all of a sudden? It's fine. We're almost done for the day anyways. Um, but yeah, it looks like we're back to being okay now. We're kosher now. We were dropping for a bit. But we're fine now. Um, but yeah, 
So Berserker was third to go down. And then Assassin going down off screen is really weird. But yeah, Assassin goes down off screen and then caster and then just leaves me and Lancer. So uh, Assassin off screen is really weird and it really picks up the pace in an unexpected way. But <clears throat> and we like barely know what ha was going on with the whole caster situation too. Anyways, what happened to him? Kusaka doesn't answer. This place is right hand in her chest as if holding something dear. Drops are fun. No, they're not. I don't like drops. I don't want any drops, ever. Tells me of Archer's fate. Now his command spells on her right hand. Let's see about the baton. Connected. A saber sensed my danger. The master can sense the life of the death. He. <gasps> well, we just need to buy some time. It was arrogant. Silence follows. The silence that seems to last forever is. Step lost, Archer, I'll get Berserker here. <clears throat> and then she doesn't even end the fight here. She still starts continues fighting with me. So I wonder what'll happen if she'll end up following uh, Saber to the church or be blissfully ignorant of what Saber means. The thing is, Rin wouldn't be nearly fast enough to follow Saber to get to the church. It would take her forever. So by the time that whole scenario, by the time she would show up if Rin was following Saber to the church, um, uh, the whole scenario will be wrapped up, I'm sure. It would take way too long. Uh, or rather, it would take way, yeah, way too long for her to run to get there. Um, even if the event does take a while. Observe the sound of Tosaka punching her left hand with her right. Oh, Morning is over before it's even started. <laughs> Resolve for what? Beat Ilias, yeah. Understand? We can't we'll just share his fate. Beat Berserker? That monster beat that whirlwind of death, it nullifies every attack, and destroys all it touches. That's just dash. I can't even imagine. Anything that fights him will die. The sucker must know that as well. If she says we'll be in spite of that? That's not right. What am I saying? The sucker isn't saying we can beat it. She has no such false hopes. I see. That's right. We're not going to beat him to win. I should have realized that immediately. What? What are you talking about? It's not that we can beat him, it's that we have to? Oh, okay. That's, you still would have to be able to can beat him to have to, but yeah, yeah. It's just that, if we don't want to die here, we have to beat that monster. He's berserker. Mm -hmm. He's actually wounded a good bit. Well, he's not wounded. He's just undead multiple times. Uh, dragon sex. Dog's explanation makes me remember last night. Saber's magical energy is almost depleted, so to replenish Saber's magical energy. That is not the only option, you liar. Reveal the truth already. Who will we even kill with it? Make Saber attack people. Why are you giving the worst option first? It's so weird that this is the ideal to her. I guess because she has so much pride in herself as a magic, and I, she doesn't want to risk Shiro dying from this, especially because, you know... Gosh, though, like... Attacking innocent people? Like, wow, it's weird because, you know, you'd think she'd care about not getting innocence involved. She said that she doesn't want to get innocence involved. But she cares that much. She cares more about her pride as a magic person and hopefully protecting Shiro's pride as a magic person more than not getting innocent people involved, it feels. Which just is definitely fucked up priorities. <clears throat> uh, and then, of course, she wants Shiro's dick, but I don't think she cares as much about that as she does about keeping innocent people safe. I think it's less about protecting Shiro from possibly dying from this and more about um, magical pride, if I had to guess, but... I think it's a combination for sure, but as we are now, we'll only make Saber suffer, but that means we're yeah. the, uh, still against it. You would've. She really would've. I mean, I guess if you were in another place, you could've selectively looked for bad people to kill. But you can't really do it here anyways, but even if we were elsewhere... That's true. Escape outside. Saka nods. I'm glad that I don't have to make Saber attack people. How can we replenish? There's a way. I explained it to you then. 
I didn't think that we'd end up having to use the ideal option. Yeah, I know, the magical pride, but it just makes me stronger. Anyways, hmm. Okay, yeah. Certainly did say. Something like that. I remember. Wait, did I say something wrong? Maybe I misheard because I was shocked. Saber's lacking. We gotta use dragon sex. Transplant a magical circuit into Saber. Important organs. Equally strong connection. Spiritual dragon sex. Magic circuit. A mechanism magic needs so they can use to activate mana. This is the core of magic. Without that, one cannot create magical energy, which is the source of magic. It's more important than their life for magic. You can even call it the meaning of their existence. That's a strong magic pride ring. ゴーストライナーそれも英霊の回路は侵入人の体に移してきた強烈な拒絶反応そうなると残された手は白の。でもそれは張り巡らされた手は一撃で。ゴーストライナーは侵入人の体に移してきた強烈な拒絶反応そ
Screening. Mm. The only ones flustered are Saber and I. You could do it yourself, but it wouldn't you wouldn't be the most calm if you did. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. It's the master's duty to take her clothes off. <laughs> you! I stop myself before I call her an idiot. Baka! With the joke aside, that's something I'm suited to do. I'm not suited to do. I can't stay composed if I have to do such a thing. I'll leave it to you. Good. Take off your clothes too, Shira. <laughs> At least she can still be jovial in these circumstances. I can't tell if she's serious or joking. Uh, I mean, she's joking, but, you know, she would definitely get extra flustered if you did. And probably do, like, you know, one of the bitch slaps or whatever. Anyway, it seems to have as much clothing as... Obviously, if she killed you, you wouldn't be able to beat uh, Berserker. Shiro, Turn your back. Oh. <laughs> Come on, John. We're gonna see it. We're gonna see the sex again. What? <laughs> I turn around and take my shirt off and fold it up. I even fold the sleeve so I can put it in a drawer if I wanted to. Are you all right, Saber? Hi. Yes, I feel much more relaxed, but... Okay, is this where we see it? No, I have to calm down. I try to express my fear, acknowledging how the transplant of the magical circuit is not last of pain. This is just a passing point. The thing I should, instead of fighting Berserk, after this... You should be, but you're not. Because it's sexy time. It's the, it's the turning point for your relationship. The dragon sex. You can never forget the dragon sex. Oh, yeah, it was this one. Uh -huh. Dash, dash, dash. Actually, we'll think I'll take this, and I'll use it to replace this. I'm dirty. I am dirty. Thank you, Pastel, for recognizing. Um, I'm dirty. Still dirty. Oh, right. Yes. Okay. I actually do need to stop. Um, and so we have this choice, and then we got this choice, and then we're basically, we're pretty close to done at that point. We can probably quickly get through this on Monday. Monday might still just be more recap at that point because Monday's also going to be kind of a short stream. So by Tuesday, we should... This is kind of what I expected, honestly, once I realized what was happening. Uh, by Tuesday, we should be back to either seeing the end of the pathway. It depend, depends on what I want to do first because, you know, I am very curious about these three and where these will lead. And I'm going to look into those, but I think I'll probably finish off the path first because I feel like we're really at the, uh, at the end game. Um, so probably, yeah, Monday, I could probably finish off the recap. And Tuesday should be continuing. Probably. 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 But anyways, um, right now we are here. Um, so for now, I think I'm going to call it here. Uh, I will see you all around. I dropped apparently 2,800 frames. I only got alerted like once. At least I, when I, maybe I wasn't paying attention during the other alerts. Mm. It's fine. I'll make sure to reset my internet for tomorrow um, just to be safe. And not tomorrow by tomorrow. I mean Monday because I'm not streaming tomorrow. Um... See you, Tom's Tom. For the YouTube video, it's over. Go away. What do you want?